250 or 300 or whatever it is, branches. So it's been fairly extensive as far as job loss is concerned. And uh, I think that there's a good possibility that two to 300 will go under this year. It's hard to tell uh, which way they're going to go on it as far as whether they're going to have some merges. Uh, and, and very often they don't even announce some merges. Uh, the FDIC probably has about $90 billion, including the three years that uh, the banks have paid ahead on their dues. Uh, that probably will last them till the end of the year, maybe into the first quarter de- next year, and they're going to be broke again. And so it's not very good. But th- those are the numbers on that. So what are we going to see? More revolving bailouts once this comes out? Once we have a couple banks go under, some more consolidation of power? They'll say the FDIC is broke and needs more help? Well, uh, under the bill that was just passed in the Senate, which which must go to conference in the House, um, the Federal Reserve, instead of being audited like they should be, is going to have one audit, and it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be restricted to just one certain area, and that's it. And so, uh, what they're doing is throwing the public a bone, and and within that bill, the FDIC is supposed to take over the control of the currency, the FDIC, the SEC, the CFTC, and a new group called um, Consumer uh, something or other to protect the consumers. And then they also have uh, another group uh, that they've formed under that. Hold right there, Bob. We're going to come back to you on the other side. It's the Alex Jones Show. We're going to go over this new Senate bill that passed 59 to 39 just yesterday with Bob Chapman of the internationalforecaster.com. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to homegain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to homegain.com. Use their home sale maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of a G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com. Or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at FiveStarSoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years... 
satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5 Thank you. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We are back. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burmis sitting in. We've got Bob Chapman on the line. I want to read some of this article. Senate passes financial reform bill. Vote represents a major policy victory for President Obama. And I was out of town last night, so... I was kind of uh, late coming in. I didn't get to see this until last minute. Bob's going to break down what this bill is really about. But let me read the first paragraph for you. Prodded by national anger at Wall Street, the Senate and the Senate on, or I'm sorry, the Senate on Thursday passed the most far-reaching restraints on big banks since the Great Depression. In its broad sweep, the massive bill would touch Wall Street CEOs for the first time, first time high home buyers, high flying traders, and small town. Lenders, and they're going to pass 59 to 39. But, Bob, what does this really mean? It makes a monopoly out of the Federal Reserve, a private corporation. And uh, it will include, as I pointed out earlier, uh, really escape from audit for all intents and purposes, and the uh, absorption of the control of the currency and uh, the FDIC, the SEC, uh, the CFTC and uh, this new Consumer Protection Agency and a stability board that they'll have or something to that effect. Um, and also, uh, they want r reporting on derivatives that are trading over the counter market to be a, a transparent like other kinds of derivatives that are now traded on exchanges and have been since 1972. Um, Wall Street doesn't like that. Uh, they didn't say anything. And there was no discussion over the F about the uh, the um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and their problems and a possible takeover or something to be done with them. They discussed Glass-Steagall reintroduction, and that went by the wayside. Now, let's talk uh, about Glass-Steagall for a moment. What would have happened if they had reintroduced Glass-Steagall, in your opinion? I think it would have solved a great many of the problems that we have today. It was probably one of the most brilliant pieces of legislation at the right time, 1931. And it, it stood up all those years. And what it is, essentially, is a wall uh, between the banks and the brokerage firms and the insurance companies. Uh, they used to be all together, and they had trusts and things like that. And when the market went down in the 30s, uh, it was a disaster because of the concentration and the interconnectivity of these banks with one another and their brokerage houses and, and all of that. And that's why they broke them up. And uh, they, wanted, they wanted to do that again. They also wanted to address the too big to fail. They didn't do anything about that. And... Uh, uh, the people in the House are very disturbed that H.R. 1207, which was the House bill, 326 members voted for it, uh, that was decimated in the Senate uh, committee. And so this bill is not going to easily go through the House, whether there's a lot of Democrats in there or not, and because some of the, the Democrats are fiscally conservative. And so we haven't heard the end of this yet, but I want to add something here that you didn't expect. And that is, on May 6th, we saw the, the market drop a 1,000 points. And I explained in the forecaster why that happened. And it was these black box, tra box traders using the algorithms uh, and hedge funds that deliberately knocked the market down. And they were trying to tell the Senate, if you don't do what we want you to do, we're going to destroy this market. Now, they've done it again in the last five or six days because they wanted to, again, get the Senate to do as little as possible about the things that the Senate was supposed to do and what Wall Street and banking didn't want. And now it's going to the House, and that's why you see what you're seeing going on. They're rigging the market.
Let me stop you right there. We've got Alex Jones on the line to throw in his two cents. Alex? Yeah, how could I, uh, how could I miss a day with Bob Chapman? And I was just listening to the show. Absolutely. They've got to pass this in the House. And this isn't just Alex Jones or Bob Chapman telling you this. This has been in the Associated Press. But they're reporting it like it's a good thing. In the bill, it allows the federal government to live time track every credit card purchase, everything you're doing in your bank account. You know, before they could just randomly dial in or you know, have the bank spy on you. This is now everything you do transparent uh, to the